Hey guys, welcome to my channel! This is a Twin Flames reading for the week of June 7th. Messages from Divine Masculine. Oh, Mr. Divine Masculine, what's going on? What's going on, buddy guy? You're not my buddy guy. Oh yeah, well you're not my guy, buddy. You're not my guy, buddy. Oh yeah, well you're not my buddy guy. What do you think of that guy? Maybe you're not even a guy. So if you're like my so-called divine masculine twin flame, you're definitely not a guy. <laughs> definitely not. Welcome, welcome everybody. Hope you're having a super fabulous, awesome Saturday. I know I sure am, as always. I'm having a really good day. And if you're having a bad day, I will share a little secret with you. Maybe you are not having a bad day. Maybe you're not having a shitty day. Maybe the day is having a shitty you. Maybe you're not having a shitty day. Maybe the day is having a shitty you. Think about that. Try this on for size. This is something that I teach my students when they ask me about the law of attraction. And that is the difference between cause and effect. Cause versus effect. So most people, when they think about cause and effect, they think, okay, well, all these things are happening to me out there in the world. These are the causes. These things that are happening out there in the world, they're happening to me, and they are the cause of how I feel, what, I, what I'm getting, you know, the experience that I'm having, right? And that's what most people in the world do. In fact, almost all people. They see external causes, and my experience is the effect of the external causes. But the way that it really works, guys, it's the other way around, it's the other way around. You are the cause and the world around you is the effect. I mean, this is something that they even teach like business, like entrepreneurs, you know, like that's a thing, like in the business world, okay? And I'm not talking about like business school where they teach you accounting and that kind of stuff. I'm talking about thinking like a business person, okay? And they don't teach that in school, they do not. They don't want you to know how business people think. Okay, the system, that's the they that I'm talking about. They don't want you to think like a business person. They want you to think like a worker bee. That's what the system wants is worker bees. Good little compliant tax paying worker bees, right? But even like a business philosopher or an entrepreneur or somebody like that, like Robert Kiyosaki, you know, ever read that book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? You know what I'm talking about. And there's like a spiritual undertone because the way that they look at the world is to say, I am the cause. I am the cause. The world around me is the effect. So switch around your belief about cause and effect and the law of attraction starts to work miracles, guys. And Robert Kiyosaki... From what I know of him, um, is a spiritual person, so he might actually, he doesn't talk about these things, um, but some of the things he said kind of indicate I, I that he kind of, you know, because his thing is to teach business, so I don't think he goes on tangents about spiritualism in particular, but sometimes he'll say things that make me think, hmm, okay, you know, maybe he gets that. But guys, that's something that's been taught for years. Like whenever you join one of those MLMs, for example, I, I've, I've tried all kinds of different MLMs and not all of them are bad. There's some bad ones that are scams, obviously, but there's, there's legitimate ones. And I've tried a few of them and they do, they teach that, they teach that to you. And it's not presented in a spiritual way at all. It's, 
It's like, it's more like a practicality, like, hey, look, if you want this to work, you have to be the cause. The world around you is going to be the effect. Now, those of us in the spiritual community, we, we take it a step further because we understand that it is energy and it's energy that's coming back to you. So you are the cause and the world around you is actually the effect. How about that? How about that? So nothing is happening to you. Sometimes it seems that way, though, doesn't it? Sometimes it seems that way. Now there's group consciousness also. You're not exempt from group consciousness. So in that respect, it, it can be where something is happening to you. But that is a lot less of a factor than people often make it out to be. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups. For Divine Masculine, so looks like this week, Divine Masculine energy is going to start to shift. They're going to be a little bit more willing to open up and to share their true highest self. That's what I see. And they're going to be sharing some dark things, but at least they're going to be honest with everyone around them. It could be painful for some to hear, but at least they're going to start telling the truth. Yay! Thank God, it's about time. <laughs> Look at this. Right off the bat, guys, recent past Divine Masculine, we've got the Knight of Pentacles writing in, thinking very clearly and carefully about their next move. Or are we? I mean, it came out in the reverse. So I think Divine Masculine, now this is recent past. So, but that's a lot of projecting his or her fears onto the people around them. That's what I see with that card. And we're not surprised to see that at all. Towards the so-called karmic situation, we have the Ace of Cups and the Five of Swords, both in the reverse. So again, this is Divine Masculine selling themselves out, selling themselves short, accepting less, um, but, you know, buying into the belief that they're obligated to stay there. They don't deserve anything better, you know, etc. All those types of things. Okay, that's old news. Um, towards you, Divine Feminine, we've got the Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Hanged Man. Very, very interesting. Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Hanged Man. Okay, so... Some really difficult times for Divine Masculine. I mean, this is old news too. But, you know, in recent weeks, it's really towards Divine Feminine. It's been a lot of guilt. It's been a lot of shame. I know what I did was wrong. Um, blaming themselves. Um, maybe not outwardly expressing that to you because of pride. But... That's what it is, guys. I mean, that's why people get tarot readings, right? You want to know the truth about what's going on, not what somebody is saying, but what's really happening, right? That's the whole object of tarot readings. It's like all the time, like when I point out like social, like social media, for example, what's up with social media? And everybody does this. They put their best foot forward. Everything's great. Look at how wonderful my life is. No, it's not. You know, that's just a front. So... The truth is, Divine Masculine really being hard on themselves for what they've done. No matter what they say, that's the energy, guys. That's the truth of it. Right there at the very center of the reading, the chariot in reverse. That's interesting because this came out in the upright for most likely outcome uh, on uh, Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Was it? Was it most likely outcome or maybe it was in the middle? Anyway... It's the chariot in reverse. So this energy is cycling around in this reading and it comes out at the very center of the reading because obviously the tarot wants us to pay special attention to this energy that's cycling around. So this is forward motion. There's, there's that push and pull. You remember from the reading yesterday, it was, this is the end of the push and pull. Well, exactly. So when you guys got to understand 
energy. It's a vibration, right? So a vibration, it's like this. Right? So when energy starts to cycle out, it's going to be back and forth. You're still going to get a little, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little. Right? Like that. As the things come closer together and merge. So that's what we're seeing right now with Divine Masculine's energy. So I think that's a good indicator. Divine Masculine uh, finally... Uh, moving away from the old uh, habits and cycles of the running and the pushing and pulling. Look at this. Towards the so-called karmic situation, the Knight of Cups and the Page of Wands in reverse. So, yeah, we got the Knight of Cups, but the Page of Wands in reverse? Mm-hmm. I think Divine Masculine is sitting there looking at their situation, thinking that this is really just a lot of wasted effort. Like, why even bother? Why even go out on one more romantic dinner with my current partner? Or if it's, say, a job, like, say, they, it's their karmic situation is their job or something like that, right? They work too much. So, so whatever I'm saying, you take it and you apply it to your situation. So, you know, this isn't worth the effort. Like, why am I still stuck here? I work so much. And I've got students, that's what they tell me, like, yeah, the problem with my twin flame is they work so much, they're committed to their career, that they don't make time for me. Well, there you go, guys. So-called Divine Masculine starting to realize that this is just a bunch of wasted effort. This situation that they believe they are stuck in. Now, towards you, Divine Feminine, look at that. Look at that. The Three of Cups in reverse and the Sun. How about that action? So when they come to you, it's going to be in a private way. They're going to want to keep it on the DL, right? They're going to want to keep it on the DL, on the down low. Um, confidential, you know, I don't want to um, announce what we're doing, but gosh darn it, can I talk to you? <laughs> can we do something here? Now, this, and remember, yesterday, the lovers came out in the reverse for you, Divine Feminine, because a lot of you are starting to wise up to these hijinks, and you're saying no to it. You're resisting those urges that you used to otherwise be giving into. You're actually owning up to your own energy and um, basically not selling yourself out. But this is good. This is the beginning of the end of that push-pull energy. In fact, the oracle card yesterday was beginnings. So there you go. But this is a good indicator, guys. This is a really, really good indicator. Divine Masculine is being honest. They really do like you. They really do want that connection with you. So that's good, even though they're trying to be sneaky about it and shysty. You might have to say no to them for right now. <clears throat> but they are being honest about how they feel about you. They're not lying. They, they really are sincerely interested in you. And I think you can tell. I think you can tell that. Speaking of the Oracle deck, let's do an Oracle card, guys. And as always, please stop watching tarot readings and go watch my other videos instead. Why should you watch my other videos? I'll tell you why. I've coached over 1,500 people. I have students who are married to their twin flame with their twin flame. I was able to attract my twin flame to me. And it's because I keep it simple and I get right to the point. You and your twin flame are the same soul. You gotta do soul stuff, guys. And there's a big difference between mind stuff and soul stuff, and it matters. And if you look at traditional spiritualism, the way that it's been taught for 10,000 years, that is exactly what it always comes down to right there. What is the difference between mind and spirit? and align with the spirit instead of the mind. And that's how you get your twin flame to show up. Go watch my other videos, guys. I put all of my videos where I talk about twin flames into a convenient playlist. If you go to the playlists section of this channel, it's called How to Get Your Twin Flame. Please watch those videos. 
I'm different than everybody else, guys. You're going to watch my videos and you're going to be like, whoa, he wasn't kidding. Yeah, I know I'm different, guys, because I take out all the confusing crap. There's no healing. You don't need to clear any karma. There's no fixing your childhood wounds, getting your Akashic records read, waiting for the divine masculine template to clear. None of that now. None of that crap. None of that now. We don't do those things. It's the true spiritual journey, tried and true spiritualism. This is thousands of years old, what I teach to you guys. No frills, no baggage, no dogma, none of that now. It's just the true spiritual journey. Now, why does that work? Well, it's because you and your twin flame are the same spirit. You are one soul. I guess you got to do as the soul does, don't you? Yeah, it's so simple, guys. All those other guys, all those other teachers... God bless their heart. I think they're just trying to help. But gosh darn it, it's just confusing everybody because they're teaching you ego mind stuff. That's what they teach. And I got one better, guys. You can go watch my free content, but you can also sign up for some coaching and work directly with me. You can work with the best. You can sign up right now. It's not expensive, guys. Go to my website. There's a link in the description box below to my website, www.newworldallstar.com. Please make sure that you type the www. For some reason, it seems to matter. Go to my website. Check out my testimonials section from my prior students who can vouch that this does work. And yes, I am the shit. And yes, this does work. Not to make myself sound like super important or anything, but it's the message, guys. It's the message. And I'm never going to stop teaching this. I'm never going to stop, guys. I'm going to keep talking about this because it works. And I've helped so many people. And I can help you to go to my website, sign up for the introduction to the journey, online video coaching package, over eight and a half hours of videos. And I'm going to give you action steps that you can put in place right now to make a permanent lifestyle change to shift permanently into your soul forever, which is your twin flame. You're going to shut down the obsessive thinking, live your most amazing life, be the best person that you can be. And yeah, even get your twin flame to unblock you, start talking to you again. It happens all the time, you guys, and it's not expensive. I don't charge that much money, guys. It's so, so affordable. It's like $269 for silver, $319 for gold. You get $50 off if you pay in full, but I do have payment plans. So if you cannot afford those already very affordable prices, no problem. I have payment plans. I break the payments into affordable, smaller payments. $53, $61, depending on which package you get. There's also the Platinum Package, where you can purchase a one-on-one -on -one with me, and every single one of those packages comes with the Get Your Twin Flame uh, Spiritual Coaching System, the Group Coaching Calls, where you get to talk to me and uh, get coaching from me up to four times a week. There's over four or five hours of coaching every single week, you get a trial membership that's included with your original purchase, and it's not expensive. It's so, so affordable, guys, and that's the good stuff. The videos, that gets you started, but it's the group coaching calls, guys, that keeps you on track. You don't have to participate. You can just listen because everybody else is going to start asking questions, the same questions that you have. So even if you don't like a group setting, you can just listen, and you'll still get so much out of it, guys. I will help you for the long haul. I've made it very affordable so that this could be a long-term thing for you because I want results. That's what this is all about with my program. All right, guys, let's get to this Oracle deck. Let's see what's going on with Miss Monica today. What's up, Miss Monica? What you got for us? What's going on with the Divine Masculine? Which card? I swear to God, I felt something over here, but I'll just double check the rest of these. Just gonna double, ooh, no, not even. Nope, it's this one, holy hell, wow. That really jumped out. Well, now this is very interesting. Somebody needs a vacation. Retreat. Retreat, and not the kind of retreat where we're pulling away. Somebody who needs a break. Somebody needs a break. Yeah, Divine Masculine needs a break. Look at this. The Eight of Swords for most likely outcome. I mean, come on. In reverse. 
The Eight of Swords in reverse for most likely outcome, that's like the Eight of Swords in the upright, only worse. That's the Eight of Swords in the upright on steroids. Somebody needs a break. Somebody wants to share themselves with you, and they're going to be honest with you about their feelings. They're going to be very vulnerable to you. And that just came out on Wednesday. So it looks like Divine Masculine isn't going to be slowing down. Look at this. The Three of Pentacles in reverse. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse towards the so-called karmic situation. Uh, hello. Yeah, I'm not putting any effort into that situation at all this week. It's all going to be Divine Feminine. Look at this. Two of Swords, Five of Wands, both in the reverse. So Divine Masculine. Not feeling too... What's the word? I don't know. Just a total guilt trip. A total guilt trip. They're feeling guilty. They know that they did wrong by you. And they are like desperately seeking to get out of this trap. I need to get away from my situation. You're like an escape to Divine Masculine. But at the same time, they're a little bit afraid to reach out to you because maybe you're going to bite their head off. <laughs> I don't think so, though. I don't think you will. Divine Feminine. Maybe some of you will, but I think most of you tend to be pretty empathetic and sympathetic towards your Divine Masculine. They're just going to be honest with you. They're just going to be honest with you and everybody around them about what they're really feeling and thinking. And I think it's going to shock a lot of people. It really is. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please hit the like button and subscribe. And when you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so that you get notifications whenever I post one of my videos. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you tomorrow for the Divine Feminine reading. Have a wonderful Saturday. Bye.